In this video, I'm going to teach you how to train Elora for a Flux, SDXL, and WAN video using Diffusion Pipe on RunPod. To start, simply click the link in the description and it will take you to RunPod where you can select the GPU that will be used for training. If you're training Flux and WAN video, I do recommend to go with a stronger GPU like the H100. And if you're training SDXL, you can go with a weaker GPU like the 5090 or the 4090. Since I'm going to demonstrate Flux in this video, I'm going to go with the H100. You should see that the template is already pre-selected. Click the Edit Template button and expand the Environment Variables tab. And there are two optional environment variables that you can configure. If you're downloading Flux and training the Flux LoRa, you must configure the Hacking Face token. And if you're training a WAN LoRa and you want to caption videos, then you need to configure your Gemini API key. If you're not doing it right now, you can also do it during the training initiation. So feel free to ignore this part if you're not sure what you want to do yet. Once you're done, click Set Overrides and scroll all the way down and click Deploy on Demand. Now go to My Pod. And I already have a pod deployed, so I'm going to terminate this one. Let's give it a few seconds to deploy. Now that the pod is deployed, click the purple arrow on the right side, click on Logs. And once the log says Jupyter Lab is running and accessible via the web interface, simply close the Logs menu, click Connect, and connect to Jupyter Lab. Now for those of you who don't know, Jupyter Lab is a file explorer, and you can also write some Python code and use the terminal. It has um, a few few options and a few things that you can do with it, but we're only going to use it for the terminal and the file explorer. So once you're in Jupyter Lab, make sure that all those folders and files exist on the left side. And once you verify that, click on Terminal, type bash. This should open the bash console, and type bash again and type enter and click tab to autocomplete. You can also type, the, type this out if you want and click enter and this should open the lower training script. Now, the lower training script is pretty straightforward and it will guide you through everything that you need to do. So let's, write, let's read it out real quick. So this interactive script will guide you through setting up and starting a lower training session. Before you start, make sure to add your data sets to the respective folders. So I'm going to add some images and videos to, this, uh, to these folders and I'm going to come back. Now that I've added the images in the image dataset here folder, we're going to select the model that we want to train. So like I said, I'm going to go with Flux. Now if you didn't set your Hugging Face token when we deployed the pod, you will have an option to do that now. And then it will ask you whether you want to caption images and or videos. We're only training images right now since we're using Flux. So let's go with images only. And if you want to use a trigger word, you can do it right here. You can simply ignore this part, but let's say I'm training a model called Alice. So I want to use this trigger word. And now the image captioning will start. Now, if you're running this uh, script for the first time, then it's going to take some time since it's downloading the model and it takes roughly five to 10 minutes. If you're doing this uh, for the second, third or whatever time, then it's gonna take um, a few seconds, depends on the GPU that you're using. So. As you can see, it took roughly 15 seconds on the H100, and we already have the captions. So let's just verify that the captions are what we, what we want. So we can see that the trigger word is prepended to the caption, and we have the rest of the caption right here. Now, the settings are the default settings that come with the, uh, with the template, but you can also change them if you want. So Let's say that we want to change those settings. So we're going to pause here and I'll modify the files manually. So let's go with two. And now it will tell you which files you need to modify in order to change the training settings. So let's go to the diffusion pipe folder, to the examples folder and to the flux toml file. So let's go to diffusion pipe, examples, flux toml. Now let's say that we want uh, 50 epochs and we want to save every five epochs. Just simply save that once you finish using Command S or Control S. And let's go to the dataset toml file as well. And let's say that the resolutions are fine, but we want to change the number of repeats. So let's do uh, five repeats. Once you're done configuring all the settings, make sure that you actually save the files. Go back to the uh, terminal. Um, it will ask you whether you finished configuring the settings. Type yes. 
and you can see that the new settings show right here. Now I noticed that I have a bug with the uh, resolutions right here, but they are correct. And the updated settings look correct, type yes. It will ask you whether you reviewed the image captioning and you're ready to proceed, type yes again. And once you finish all their verifications, the captioning and all this uh, wonderful mumbo jumbo, the training will start. Now the training will take roughly a few minutes to a few hours, depends on the settings that you configure. Once the trainings uh, finish in the root folder, you will have a folder called training outputs. And inside the directories, you will have all the training runs that you did. And finally, the LoRa files should be inside those folders. Now, there is no LoRa file here because I ended the training before it could actually create a LoRa file, but the final files will be right here and you can simply right click and download them locally. Thank you very much for watching. This is, um, if you're coming from my previous template, this is um, a great change. I really like what I did here. Um, I think it's pretty straightforward and there's no, no room for error. Um, let me know if you need anything, any questions, any, anything that you want to raise, any bugs that you find. Thank you very much for watching. Click the like button, subscribe and do all that uh, YouTube mumbo jumbo. Take care. Goodbye.